Well, today we're going to look at another pair of classic Mego vintage figures, and this time it's Mego's version of the crime fighting duo Starsky and Hutch. Um, so, Starsky and Hutch was a television program in the 70s, and it was hugely popular at the time. I think it was, I don't know whether it kicked off the buddy sort of cop comedy style serious drama ones. Um, but we ended up with a slew of them. We had like the female version, Cagney and Lacey. The cat's being super cute. Mmm. Bless her. You right? Laser eyes. Anyway, back to the review. Uh, sorry, that was the uh, Amazon delivery guy. Very late at night. What would you when someone rings a doorbell at night? It's either not good news, someone trying to rob you. Or someone wanting something. Anyway, you right, Kat? Back to Staskin Hutch. Yeah, so Staskin Hutch, hugely popular, uh, was everywhere as board games, etc. Uh, which I think I have actually got a Staskin Hutch board game kicking about somewhere. If I have, I'll tack it on the end of this review. Um, but yeah, so Amigo did a. In the UK, they only produced these two figures and a. Uh, Ford Torino Starsky's car, the red car with the white stripe. In the US they did a whole range, so they did Captain Doby, um, Huggy Bear and a, a terrible uh, villain figure who was really low grade. I think it was called Chopper? I want to say Chopper, I might be wrong. Um, and in the UK they, they come slightly differently, so you could get them on single cards with these figures on. Or you could get a double pack from Palatoy, and the double pack was quite unusual in that you got uh, a pair of handguns um, in the series. Um, I think it was Starsky used a sort of a, a magnum or a, you know a large revolver style gun, and uh, Hutch used I think an automatic. But you got both automatic sort of Colt 45 style pistols with the UK double box set and the other thing that was really weird is that the Starsky figure was almost invariably a an old Space 1999 body with the white moulded on boots with a pair of moccasins over them it was very very strange I think they were just using old stock and obviously the Space 1999 figures had a very limited shelf life because the program was only on for two years um, so they probably had a load they had to get rid of which is strange because it's such a collectible range now. So if you want a if you want a Space 1999 body, it's probably cheaper to find a UK Starsky and swap heads than it is to buy an old uh, like Paul Mowo or something. So let's have a look at the figures. So the likenesses are not spawn. This is uh, meant to be David Soul as Ken Hutchinson and. Uh, it looks to me a little bit more like Jasper Carrot. So if you want to do a funky moped recreation, ideal figure. The UK figure came with this leather effect vest, whereas the one in the States came with a more sort of tan, um, sort of faux suede style vest. Um, made of very similar material to the Wild Bill Hickok shirt, but a bit darker. Um, so we'll uh, we'll get the clothes off these and have a look. I'll show you the bodies. Uh, Staskin Hutch figures are always type two bodies, um, which uh, I liked as a kid. They were much much more poseable. It's a nice sculpt, but it's not quite not quite there. If you wanted to do sort of um, army builder figures for Star Trek people and that, you could repaint the hair, and it's quite a nice sort of sculpt. I think the uh, Starsky sculpt. They got a bit closer. It does look like Paul Michael Glazer. It's one of their better ones. Um, I often mistook this for the uh, Planet of the Apes Burke figure. But they are different. And then Starsky came in blue on blue. So let's uh, get the uniforms off and we'll have a look at them. And we'll have a look at the bodies. Okay, so let's have a look. So type two bodies all round for Starsky and Hutch. Um, you can see how what a good sculpt it was, very full of character. Um, Migo's really interesting that 
when you take the clothes off the heads always look a little bit large especially like on the chips figures um, but actually so that when the clothes are on because the clothes are quite thick um, it looks right so very very clever the type 2 body is my favorite body so well made no rivets it's all plastic a bit more fragile because the joints tend to go especially on the 12 inch figures uh, blue underpants all round of course um, and like I say the Starsky Palatoy version also comes in the version with the Space 1999 white molded on Star Trek boots so those molds have, uh, have had a bit of use so originally used for Star Trek in black and then when Space 1999 came out they did them in white even though it wasn't very really accurate um, and then they got used for Starsky Starsky came with a pair of moccasins um, and on the Space 1999 figures these moccasins get really stretched um, so they don't fit on anything else. He came with a nice pair of jeans, generously flared, it was the 70s, and Starsky's jeans are darker than Hutch's and a slightly softer material. Um, really nicely made as all Mego clothes are and then Starsky came with a blue pullover jumper in classic Mego, half stitched, half open, which is different to um, to Hutch's jumper, which I'll show in a minute. Uh, these tend to be in quite poor condition when you get them loose, because as soon as you like catch part of it, you end up with a hole, which again I'll show you on Hutch. Um, these are not anywhere near what they wore in the show. It's like generic street clothes. Uh, Starsky was renowned for wearing his um, sort of cardigan jumper jacket, which you can now get again. Um, it was a very popular, huge thing in the in the 70s. And then Hutch, again, type 2 body. Hutch tended not to come in the uh, Space 99 figures because his boots were slip-on plastic boots. Um, so you obviously couldn't get these over the fixed uh, other boots, which is weird. I don't know why they didn't just put, if they had them, just use the Star Trek black booted version and save on a pair of boots. But I'm presuming they had a warehouse chock full of old Space 1999 bodies. Um, so again, you can see the sculpt. It's really nicely done. Like I say, unfortunately, just not quite there likeness wise. You could do a sale on a slot figure, I suppose. 74 body as pretty much all the uh, type 2's were. So Hutch came with lighter jeans, not quite as flared. I don't know whether these were old um, Action Jackson jeans or whether they were actually specially made for Hutch, but not quite as uh, not quite as hard wearing as Starsky's. Hutch came with a yellow sort of roll neck jersey, which was in interesting that the sleeves didn't have the same striping as the front and back as this one's uh, almost lost its connection uh, it's popper and again this one is unusual in that it's open so it goes on backwards like a shirt uh, Hutch got one extra bit of clothing which was the leather jerkin which again in the States was uh, a different one Amiga on it it's faded and like I say you get a nice snazzy pair of boots um, so Good, good stuff. You didn't, like I say, unfortunately with the separate figures you didn't get weaponry, which is a shame because obviously it's a cop show, but I think um, towards the tail end of the 70s obviously they were looking at violence in kids' toys and that. Although we did have a set of uh, Captain, Captain Scarlet, a set of Starsky and Hutch cap guns as a kid. So uh, let's get these uh, dressed and if I can find my Starsky and Hutch board game we'll have a quick look at that as well. Well I found it tucked away right in the corner, um, Starsky and Hutch, so let's see if we can get it out, it's just uh, games and colour form set and stuff like that, let's see if we can get them out. Okay so Starsky and Hutch detective game, and that was the uh, Ford Torino, which again everyone did their minis and their vans with that stripe on, uh, so you get some nice shots, so as you can see not really any of them Wearing. I suppose that's the closest to the Migos. Um, it'd be nice to get some shoulder holsters with, with these. But yeah, Hutch generally wore leather jackets. He had a tan jacket, which I'm pretty certain uh, 
Mego could have done. Let's grab the figure and compare it. Not quite there, is it? It's not bad. Not quite there. Let's have a look at the game. It's been so long since I've had this one open. Is it even going to open? Yeah. So, what? A very simplistic game. You could use the chip sunglasses on, I suppose. So, again, very simplistic game. Probably rushed out to uh, capitalise on the craze. So you got things like uh, different places for them to visit. And then you had to go around, I seem to remember you had to go around, uh, and it was a bit like Cluedo, you had to solve crimes. So it's all the same. So yeah, so interesting. Not, there wasn't a lot of Star Skin Hatch stuff about. Um, but, uh, I remember loving it as a kid. I've not seen one in ages. It probably aged terribly. I always liked David Sowell. I thought he was a good actor um, and great in Salem's Lot. Anyway, let's uh, let's go back to the Star Skin Hatch figures and round it up. So, all in all, a really nice pair of figures, these two. Um, they're pretty common. Uh, loose, you can pick them up. It's hard getting loose, good condition ones, because I think these were well played with figures. Um, but like I say, not really that rare loose. Um, I certainly wouldn't pay more than about 20 quid each. I got both of these for I think 22, I wanna say. Might have been 24. Um, box ones, really rare. <laughs> You're gonna be paying a huge premium for box ones. Hello, have you got an opinion? Do you like Starsky and Hatch? Hmm? She always, as soon as I start, um, recording she wants to join in bless her she probably wants her tea um yeah so well worth getting these figures they're very nice i don't think you're gonna get the the rest of the series in the uk cheaply i don't even think you can get them in the states that cheaply now um i've certainly never seen them sort of in secondhand shops or anything like that um but i'll keep an eye out for them because it is a it's a nice souvenir of an unusual program. Um, there is a, uh, it's not made by Mego, but there is a Kojak figure as well by XL Toys, which I used to have and uh, wish I hadn't got rid of because they're worth just mad money now. Um, and they're really nicely made, got a lot of accessories. So what a weird time the seven is were that these adult programs <laughs> spun off kids dolls. Very strange. I'm glad they did though, but if you want to see more Mego reviews like this, let me know. I've got a fair few figures, um, and if you like these reviews that are a bit more in-depth, showing the body, the parts, etc., again, let me know in the comments, and I'll uh, keep doing them. Uh, please like and subscribe if you can. Uh, it all helps. Certainly likes and comments help. And I'll see you again next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.